time for my October favorites video and it's really really cold here so that's why I'm kind of just wearing a t-shirt and sweatpants just kind of trying to get warm so it's already cold here and I guess it's about time since it's the beginning of November but it's crazy it's freezing so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get started I will start with the uh, non makeup product I love these Biore deep cleansing pore strips I bought them maybe two weeks ago and I've used them all. Um, they come with eight strips, I think for around $10 almost is how much I paid for them. Like, it was kind of expensive, I thought. But you get, which I haven't tried yet, you get a sample of their moisturizer with it. So it's awesome. And you get a coupon too inside. And these, I don't have any to show y'all because I used them all, but I'm going to go buy some more. Um, you just put them on your nose like that, like the girl has and you just put it on your nose. What I like to do is I put really hot water in my hands and I put it over my nose to open up the pores. I put the strips on and rip it off and it gets rid of all the uh, dirt buildup and unclogs the pores and blackheads and all that stuff. So I really, really recommend this. It's awesome. I'm gonna do like an in-depth review on it later once I buy more and um, show y'all what I'm talking about, what I use and how I use it and all that stuff. All right, up to uh, my makeup products. Alright, I'm going to start off with the Hard Candy Nobody's Perfect Concealer Palette. I love this concealer. Um, I haven't done a review on it yet, but I'm going to do a review on the, this concealer palette and the e.l.f. concealer palette and tell you all what I think about them. This palette's really creamy and it comes with green for uh, redness, yellow for under eyes, and also pink for under eyes too. And then three skin tones and I use the two the two in the um, far left, I guess. It could, it could be far left, far right. Um, the two lightest colors, I don't use the dark one. And this is also in the Fair palette, 133. It has a little brush with it too. I've never used the brush yet. but. And this was only $8 from Hard Candy at Walmart. So I really like that palette. I use it to conceal everything on my face. And then I'll use my foundation. And then I bought this new powder. It's the uh, Maybelline... Maybelline Dream Matte Powder in Sand Medium and this powder is really soft very finely milled and it's great for a setting powder or if I don't feel like wearing a bunch of coverage foundation on I'll just put this on so I love that powder and then for my eyes well I'll stick with face with face I use to apply that powder I use my elf kabuki brush and this was only three dollars and this is so soft like this is softer than my Equal Tools brushes, and my Equal Tool brushes are really soft. This is so soft. I use this every day for my powder. And it's only $3, so it was an awesome price. And no hairs have shed, and it's really great quality. So, really like that brush. On to eyes. I use this as a base almost every day. If I'm using like a brown color on my eyes or any color, except for like blue because I have my NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencil, but any, pretty much almost any color, I'll use this as a base. I'll put on my primer, then I'll put on Avon's Beyond Natural Radiant Lifting Eyeshadow, and this is in Platinum. This is from Avon, and I'll show you a swatch real quick. It's kind of like a shimmery, um, peachy color, not peach, but like a light peach and it blends into like a shimmery cream it's just like a cream eyeshadow but it's it's sticky like sticky enough to where your eyeshadow will stay on top of it and it makes my eyeshadow pop so good I love this also for my eyes I use the elf uh, eyeshadow C brush this was only three dollars and I use this as an all-over lid brush all the time it's awesome for packing color. It's awesome for, it's perfect size for my eyelids. It's, it's great. I love it. For $3, it's great quality. And then last favorite, I believe, yeah, my last favorite is going to be this CoverGirl eyeshadow that I forgot that I had, and I don't know the name of it. I wish I could tell you all the name of it, but it's a CoverGirl eyeshadow, and it's a really sparkly, creamy white. It's not quite, sorry, it's not quite like, frosty white. It's almost frosty white, but it's got like a yellow undertone to it. 
it looks pretty white on camera, but it, it's really shimmery, really glittery. I'll use that as like an all over lid color sometimes, and I just want like a natural but kind of shimmery look. So I really like this uh, CoverGirl eyeshadow, and I wish I could tell you what the color is, but it's just a really pretty yellowy, I want to say tannish white color. But those are my October favorites, and I hope you all enjoyed, and talk to you later.